and welcome to How to Car, brought to you by motors.co.uk. I'm Ellie Taylor and in this episode we're focusing on what to look out for when you're about to buy a car. When you're at the dealership or about to view the vehicle for the first time, what red flags should we be looking out for? Does the car have an actual red flag on it? For me, that would probably be a bonus because I'm very basic. So you've found the car you want and someone's selling it for the right price. Nice, good job. Let's go and see that bad boy in person. The bad boy I'm referring to is the car, not the seller. Don't call them a bad boy. I say that from bitter experience. Here's the how to car checklist of things to check. That's why we called it a checklist. First things first, unless you're buying from a very reputable seller, don't part with any money until you've actually seen the car, seen it, touched it, smelt it, but at the very least, seen it in person. While you're there, give it a visual inspection. Walk around the vehicle and look for damage. Does it seem okay? Or does it look like it was used in a scene from Mad Max Fury Road? Paintwork. Is it all even across the car? If not, it may have been in an accident or on mid noughties television show, Pimp My Ride, which in my mind is worse. The core electrics. Do the lights work around the vehicle? I hope so. Do any warning lights come up on the dashboard when you turn on the ignition? I hope not. Missing or damaged items. Is there a spare wheel? No. Have they drawn a picture of a wheel and put that in there instead? They have. Awful. How it sounds. Any abnormal noises when the engine starts? What about when you brake? Anything weird coming from the boot, like a Because that could be a ghost and getting rid of that will cost you. Now, the car's history. Using the registration plate, you can check every sordid thing the car has ever been up to. It's really quite exciting. I'd like to be able to do that with neighbors, friends and family. You can find out if it's ever been stolen or written off or whether it's ever been recalled and its MOT history. Plus, using the vehicle's manual, usually found in the glove box, should give you an indication of the service history. All that said, we're not all car experts and you might want an expert opinion. Companies like the RAC offer full vehicle inspections, which can help identify any hidden problems you may not be aware of, saving you costly repairs. Much like marriage, when you're buying a car, it's best to try before you buy. Hang on, did I say marriage? That's weird, isn't it? I mean, I do think that, but it's odd to say it on camera. What I'm trying to say is always take your potential car for a test drive. Whether you're buying new or secondhand, a test drive is crucial. For a new car, it's a chance to make sure you enjoy driving it and that it's right for all your needs before you put your order in. Uh, <laughs> sorry, don't know why I did that. And a test drive is even more important when you're buying secondhand because you need to make sure everything's in working order. Uh. Oh, I really need to stop doing that. So that's it. That's what to look for. Plus, you know that you like the actual look of it. There's no point spending your savings on something that looks like a horse with wheels, is there? Now we're going to focus on what to ask and how to get your car for the right price. I am so excited. I may have weed a little bit. <laughs> Jokes, but seriously, where are the loos? 